Okay, so what I wanted to show you here is uh, I got these gloves here. They're uh, electrician's gloves for work on high voltage. Uh, you know, like the stuff on the on the main cables outside and the poles. Um, these here in particular are rated for 17,000 volts. Now, this Van de Graaff generator here produces uh, between 300,000 and 500,000 volts. Depends on the humidity and uh, uh, just how well insulated the outside edge of this sphere is. But um, I wanted to show you that you know it is producing that kind of voltage because it goes right through this glove. And the other thing that I found out is that it actually this glove is actually acting almost like a capacitor in a way. It's actually holding a charge while it's on my hand. Uh, and I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go I'm going to dim the lights down and just have a light on the camera there. Uh, and that's just so you can see some of the sparks hopefully with the camera. Um, so I got my I got my uh, discharge wand here. Uh, it's a sphere. Also, it's, it's it's designed to create sparks, so uh, that's why it's a sphere, not just some simple metal object. Um, and then down on the bottom, uh, the motor, everything is kind of covered up by a, a, piece, a piece of rubber, so that uh, it doesn't get zapped, because that can that can ruin some of the electronics sometimes. So I don't want any backfeeding through to my. Uh, um, my variable speed for the motor, I have a switch for that. And I, if it gets shocked, it could ruin that. So uh, I'm going to turn it on here. Now I have it on. I have it on the on the low setting right now. Uh, it's, it's about as slow as I can really make it go before the motor starts to uh, kind of get bogged down from not enough power. Because uh, I don't want to keep charging up too fast because. It's it's uh, harder to control that way because when you turn this on, you actually can feel just being near it. You can feel the static build up on everything, uh, you and around the room. Uh, I can feel it on my pants right now, and I'm about two feet away from it. Um, now, when I get this glove here close, uh, I can actually if it, when my hand in it, it actually feels like it 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 feels like it's I don't know being massaged. I guess in a way, it's kind of weird. Um, but then it, you, you get shocked right through this. Let me show you that. Okay, so I'm, I got my hand here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I am about a foot away from it. And I can, it, it basically feels like a tingling, a tingly feeling going from my hand up my arm. So I already feel, I'm already feeling shocks right now, actually. And I'm about a foot away. They're very, very minor, but now I'm gonna get closer. And I got my fingertips facing down because I don't want to get shocked in my fingertips. Ow! Okay. You can actually see right now it's actually going up and over. It's going over the glove. Now I'm gonna get a little closer. You should be able to see some sparks come off of this. And obviously you can hear it too. What it's, what it's doing is it's like, it's just going around the glove. Oh, that hurt. Ow. Whew. Like I said, I think it's acting like a capacitor. Let me turn this off and discharge it. Ah, fuck. All right, I think the glove's discharged. Yeah, that's, that's nuts. So the, the whole reason I got these gloves here is actually because, uh, when these gloves here can protect you from like uh, getting shock and everything from working with high voltage. Uh, however, if there's even a slight pinhole in these gloves, I'm talking about like from a needle, you know, like that kind of small, something you would never even see. Uh, so you have to check these all the time for for pinholes, pretty much, through a couple of different methods. But um, they're 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 red on the inside so that. You can see if there's a crack or something when you stretch them with the black rubber, you can see it show through. But if you put a pinhole in this, uh, it, it doesn't matter how small it is, the electricity will find its way through that hole. And in this case, there's just too much voltage building up on this to even demonstrate that because these gloves here do not have any pinholes in them. These are these are good gloves and they're, they've been tested. Uh, so 
I can't actually use these to show you what it would be like if you had a hole in these because I'm getting shocked no matter what. So, but I just thought that I would show that because this, this is a, it's all, the rubber is insulated, the rubber is insulative, it insulates you, but that's why there's a rating on these gloves, and this one's 17,000 volts. You go above that, and it's going to go right through it. Now, it, it, it does offer resistance, uh, so you may not be in shock directly with 17,000 volts, or, or, or higher, or whatever, but, um, you know, if you're working with say 30,000 volts, these gloves aren't going to help you. Even though you, you know, even though they're this long and they go all the way up your arm. So, uh, the way that electricity works is that um, air offers resistance. So what happens is, is from from this point to this point on your arm, that's that's based on voltage. So uh, I forget the actual amount, but after I think like. I think it's like 100,000 volts or something like that, the, the spark will jump across an air gap of like, of like a foot or something like that. I, it's, it's somewhere around there, I don't know for sure right now, but, but, um, but yeah, that's how they work. But as you can see, this is having no problem shocking me and going up and over the glove itself.